friendship that'll never ever end. We could be looking at possibly the biggest Firefly Funhouse episode ever this coming week on Raw. The feud between Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt is going to be stepped up a notch because it has been officially announced by WWE on social media and their website that this week on Raw, not only will Drew McIntyre and Sheamus face Miz and John Morrison, AJ Styles in a handicap match, but Randy Orton will invite himself into the Firefly Funhouse. Mind blowing. Now, obviously, Alton going to the Firefly Funhouse itself maybe isn't a big deal considering the fact we've seen Seth Rollins go there and literally burn the Funhouse down. We have seen other superstars travel as well to the Firefly Funhouse, notably WrestleMania. John Cena was seemingly teleported there. He didn't seemingly know how, but obviously, he then walked through the door and he has never literally been seen again. For the first time, we can actually say you can't see Cena. It's great. Of course, Braun Strowman as well went there and attacked Bray Wyatt before their big match. It literally is now a thing that big superstars, big feuds have been to the Firefly Funhouse. Oh, yeah. And um, Postman Pierce, he went there for one like smack, random smackdown. No idea what that Postman thing was all about, but... I'm for it, and most recently, of course, Alexa Bliss as well. But the interesting thing here is we've never actually found out how superstars get to the funhouse. Now, the fact Cena teleported there tells us that it's not just a backstage set which people just walk up upon. It's almost like people like Seth didn't even know they actually went to the funhouse because they never got asked about going there, and we wondered if it was all in Bray's head that they went there in the first place. But with Alton inviting himself to the Firefly Funhouse, that changes everything. If it was Bray that invited Alton, then yeah, you could say that it makes sense that it's in Bray's head. But on the other hand, it's not. It's Alton that's invited himself. So that makes no sense at all. Maybe Alton knows how to get to the Firefly Funhouse. He hasn't been mandible clawed yet. So it's definitely ruling that one out. But I wonder if Randy Orton would be the person to break that kayfabe of the Firefly Funhouse and tell us that secret. How do you get to the Firefly Funhouse? I mean, I'm literally asking because I want to know. I want to be the other side of that door. I'm sorry, Bray. One day I will knock that door and Bray Wyatt, you'll, you'll let me in, dude. I, please. But in all seriousness... It is going to be big because it is December time. This is the feud that we cannot wait for between The Fiend, Bray Wyatt and of course Randy Orton. And if there's a chance secrets are going to be revealed this Monday, you know I'm going to be all over it. There'll be videos talking about this throughout Monday on Raw, I can guarantee you. And afterwards with things you might have missed. But make sure you join us tonight after Smackdown. This will be about 5-10 minutes after Smackdown finishes on this YouTube channel for Funhouse Friday's Chill Zone, where I can guarantee you we will be talking a lot about Bray Wyatt, a lot about Randy Orton traveling to the Funhouse. I can guarantee you the best theorists on YouTube will be right there in that chat. So this is going to be the place to be with breaking news like this. Of course, I cannot wait. I hope to see you Monday. If not, I hope to see you tonight. But let me know your thoughts about Randy Orton inviting himself to the Firefly Funhouse in the comments section down below. Like the video, share the video, and if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you as always next time. Peace!